This example is obviously a lot more sophisticated over the previous example we have seen in the chapter of the magic pawn breaks through. Here in this position, we have a lot of candidate moves for white and I can tell you, unfortunately, just one move will guide ourselves to Rome and all the other moves will end up in a bitter defeat. So let's check the options. We can see that here we have the majority of pawns four against three and one of the most logical moves here to consider because we know that in the center the hit is usually the strongest, we can try a move like g5. After g5, black has to be super careful because if black reacts wrongly here, then black obviously will lose on the spot. With reacting wrongly, I mean a move like h takes g5 because once again we see that the h file more or less opens up. g7 is the last enemy to be distracted with f6 and white would promote. 